Hi guys, welcome back to Teacher Lecture Math Class Channel. Today we are going to apply all of those learnings that we have gained with regards to division of fractions. Now we are going to have now solving routine and non-routine problems involving division of fraction. Good morning everyone. Today we are going to discuss all about solving routine or non-routine problems involving division without or with any of the other operations of fractions and whole numbers using operate problem solving strategies and tools. Handa ka na bang matuto? Halika't pag-aralan natin ang pinakang last topic na ito all about division of fractions. Okay, for our presentation, we have here our problem. Mother has 6 kg of boiled peanuts. She wants to refract this into small plastic bags which weigh 3, 8 kg each. How many plastic bags does she need? So, sabi sa problem nito, yung nanay daw ay merong 6 na kilo na nilagang mani. Tapos gusto niya itong i-repack sa small plastic bags which weigh 3, 8 kg each. Ilang kayang plastic bag ang kanyang kailangan dito? So, we have here the agonsa. What is us in the problem? So, the number of plastic bag she needs. What about the given data? The given data are 6 kg of boiled peanuts and 3 eggs. What about the word clue? The word clue is each. Ito po yung word clue natin. We have the word clue each. Okay? Next. What about the operation to be used in the problem? The operation to be used, since we have each, the operation to be used is division. Okay? Then, our number sentence or mathematical equation is 6 divided by 3, 8 equals n. Okay? Now, let us proceed to our solution. Okay? We have here our, solu we have here our solution. We have 6 divided by 3, divided by 3, 8 equals. So, the first thing that we are going to do is to get the reciprocal of 3, 8, which is 8 over 3. Ngayon, mapapansin mo na na meron tayong pwedeng i-cancel. Saan ano yung pwedeng i-cancel natin? Pwede natin i-cancel itong 6 at 3. Saan natin pwedeng i-divide yung 6 at 3? Sa 3. Tama kayo. Sa 3 natin siya pwedeng i-divide. So, ilang 6 ba meron kay 3? So, dito po, cancel natin yung 6 at 3. Okay. At then, cancel 3 here. Okay. Ngayon, ang tanong, ilang 6 meron kay 3? Siyempre, ah, ilang 3 meron kay 6? We have 2. Ilang 3 meron kay 3? We have 1. Okay? So, 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2. 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1. Okay po? So, we have here now the numbers. We have 2 and 8. Then, 1 as our denominator. So, 2 times 8, okay, equals 16. Then, 1 times 1 equals 1. So, 16 over 1 is also equal to 16. So, the final answer that we have here is mother needs 16 plastic bags for 6 kilograms of boiled peanuts. Maliwanag po ba ang ating sagot? Sana po naintindihan natin ang problem na ito. Okay, now we have here another example of a problem. Pauline prepared 3 fourth liter of pineapple juice for 3 visitors. How much juice were served to each of her friends if she served equally among them? So, sabi sa problem na ito, si Pauline daw po ay merong tatlong bisita. So, pinaganda niya ito ng apple juice, which is 3 port liter. Ang pinakang tinatanong dito, how much juice were to serve to each of her friends if she served equally among them? Gusto niya ay pantay-pantay o parehas-parehas yung may serve na juice para sa kanyang tatlong bisita. Okay po? So, we have here our agonsa. First, what is us in the problem? So, what is us is the amount of juice served to each of her friends equally. Then, we have the given data. The given data are 3 fourth liter of juice and 3 visitors. What about the word glue? The word glues are each and equally. Saan po galing yun? So, nandito po ang ating word glue na each. Ito po yun, each. Then, we have our word glue equally. Okay, so since na meron tayong word glue na each and equally, we are going to perform the operation of division. mag divide po tayo. So we have here our number sentence or mathematical equation. We have 3 fourth divided by 3 is equal to n. Okay, so alam naman natin, uh, once we divide a uh, fraction and a number, so kukunin po natin ang reciprocal nito, which is 3 
Okay, kunin natin reciprocal ng 3, which is equal to 1 third. Then, proceed to the process of multiplication. So, ito na po yun. So, 3 fourth times 1 third. Sa ang galing 1 third again, dito po yun. Binaligtad po natin yung 3, ginawa natin 1 over 3. Okay po. So, mapapansin nyo, 3 fourth times 1 third, meron tayong pwedeng i-cancel. Sir, ano yung pwedeng i-cancel? Dahil magkatulad itong 3 at 3, ito na yung i-cancel natin. So, pinapaltan natin yan dahil magkatulad yan. Pinapaltan po agad natin yan ng 1. So, sa alip na 3 isulat natin, 1 na lang po. Kasi they are the same number. Okay? So, now we have these numbers. We have 1 times 1 equals 1. 4 times 1 equals to 4. Okay? Again, 1 times 1 equals 1. 4 times 1 is equal to 4. So, the answer here is 1 fourth. So, the amount of juice served to each of our friends equally was 1 fourth. Maliwanag po ba ang ating problem? Sana po naintindihan natin ito. And now we have here our second problem. How many 3 fourth meter pieces of ribbon can be cut from a 30 meter piece of ribbon? Okay, so in our problem, ilang kayang peraso na 3 fourth meter ang pwede natin i-cut out of 30 meter piece of ribbon. So, gusto nating uh, cut, ikat po ito. So, dahil may word tayo na cut, we are going to proceed to division. Okay? We are going to proceed to the process of division. So, the number sentence that we have here is 30 divided by 3 fourth equals n. Okay? In our solution, we have 30 divided by 3 fourth. So, we are going to get reciprocal of 3 fourth which is 4 over 3. Then, proceed to the process of multiplication. So, dito mapapansin mo, we have 30 times 4 third. Okay? Binaligtad po natin yung 3 fourth naging 4 third. Binaligtad po natin. Okay? So, dito po mapapansin nyo na mayroon po tayong pwedeng i-cancel. Sir, ano po yung pwedeng i-cancel natin? Tingnan po natin yung mga numbers. Ano sa palagay ninyo yung pwedeng i-cancel dyan? Yes. Ang pwede po natin i-cancel dito yung 30 at 3. Saan po natin pwedeng i-divide yung 30 at 3? Siyempre sa... 3. Okay? So, 30 divided by 3 is equal to 10. Then, 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1. So, i-cancel natin para mas makita natin. So, cancel natin yung 30. Cancel natin yung 3. Okay? Yung 30 po, yung 30 na ito, pinalitan natin ng 10. Tapos, yung 3 na ito, pinalitan po natin ng 1. Okay? So, ang mga natirang numbers na lang, we have for our numerators, we have 10 and 4. Denominators, we have 1 and 1. So, understood po na may 1 ito dito sa baba. Okay, so 10 times 4 equals 40. 1 times 1 is equal to 1. So, 40 over 1, that is also equal to 40. Maliwanag po ba? So, our final answer here, in this problem, there are 40 pieces of 3 fourth meter of ribbon that can be cut in 30 meter of ribbon. So, 40 na peraso na 3 fourth meter ang pwede nating ikat o putulin out of 30 meters of ribbon. Maliwanag po ba ang ating sagot sa problem na ito? Sana po naiintindihan natin ito. Okay, now we have here our smart ideas. In solving word problems, follow these steps. Number one, know what is us. The given facts and the operation to be used. Okay? Next, perform the operations carefully to get the solution. Then write the complete answer. Okay? So, ito po yung ating smart ideas. In shortcut, ito po yung ating agonsa in solving word problem. Maliwanag po ba? Sana naintindihan po natin ang ating smart ideas. And now, we have here our math activity. We have here the problem. Uh, basahing mabuti at unawain. Tapos sagutan itong ating mga questions dito, all about Agonza. Then you write here your solution. Pakita nyo yung solution nyo dito. Then you write your final answer here. Sir, sakali pong nahihirapan kami, pwede ba kaming humingi ng tulong sa aming mga magulang, sa aming mga kapatid, o kaya sa aming mismong teacher? Pwedeng pwede po, as long as you come up with the right answer. Ang mahalaga po, naitindihan nyo ang lesson ngayong araw na ito. Yan lang po, at maraming maraming salamat sa inyong pakikinig. Maraming maraming salamat sa inyong panonood, sa inyong pakikinig. Alam ko medyo mahirap ang topic na ito dahil solving word problem. Pero alam ko at iwala rin akong kakayanin ninyo ito, itong topic na ito. Sana po masagutan nyo ng tama ang ating math activity. Maraming maraming salamat muli at wag na wag nyo kalimutang i-like, i-share at mag-subscribe sa channel ko. Maraming salamat po. 
Shout out kay Kuya Aaron natin, kay Ate Erica natin, at sa kanyang napakasipag at napakasupportive na mga parents. Maraming maraming salamat sa inyong suporta sa paaralan. Ingat po kayo palagi. God bless po sa inyong pamilya.